Have you not updated your iPhone 5S to iOS 10? Today we have this video, iOS 9.3.5 on iPhone 5S versus iOS 10.1.1 on iPhone 5S. Let's get into this. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is your boy Nick here and welcome to this video comparison of the iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 5S. It's the same versus the same. But what is not the same is this guy on the left is running iOS 9.3.5, the latest crop on the iOS 9 edition, which I believe many of you might have stayed on. And this guy on the right is running the latest iOS 10 for the iPhone 5S. Now, to confirm that, let's go into the settings on both of these devices and go and show you this. So here we are, general. If I go to about, you can see on the left, we are rocking out with iOS 9.3.5, 13G36 here for the left. Let's go on the right now and look at the about section here iOS 10.1.1 14B100. Now they are working on 10.2, which will be available soon, and you know we're gonna cover it for this channel, but for now, we're still on iOS 10.1.1. So a lot of you might've said, you know what, I'm sticking on 9.3.5, but I think you might be doing yourself a disservice by doing that, and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video, or at least I'm hoping I'm going to prove it to you, because in my experience, iOS 10 has been running better on the iPhone 5S than iOS 9. But let's figure this out. So let's begin with the boot up test. So let me boot both of these guys down really quickly here and see which one will boot on faster. So just give it just a second to boot down. All right, so both devices have boot down. So let's go ahead and boot them up. Three, two, let's go. Little bit of shake action to make sure that we do have it right. Shake your stuff, shake your stuff, tripod. That's all good, as long as we could still see what's on screen. So let's see which one gets there first. iOS 10 on the right, iOS 9 on the left there. I do like the space gray because the black just blends in very nicely here. But for those of you ladies out there, guys too, you like that white, it's really, really a decent color here. But that's besides the point. I think iOS 10 is going to win this, but let's see. Ooh, ooh, already proven Nicky boy wrong here. So on the left here, you can see that iOS 9 did boot up faster than 10. So a point to iOS 9 in terms of the boot up speed. And I am going to be updating this iPhone 5S on the left once we finish this video. So no more 9.3.5 after this video. I believe I did a battery test on this as well. But wow, iOS 10 was super slow on the boot up there. But let's go ahead and begin the next test. So the next test is going to be the app speed test. So let's go ahead and close everything out on both of these devices and let's see what's going on. Just got a notification. Let me just go ahead and take that off of there. But you can see both of these are on. No, no applications are open here. So let's begin with this test. Let me go over here and show you that we got them lined up exactly even. Let's begin with calendar in three, two, one. And you can see iOS 10 right out the gate blazing. So let's go home. iOS 10 back home first once again on the right. Let's go on to the weather. You can see, ooh, iOS 9 won that one. So it's 1-1, one, one, all tied up here in the first round. Let's go into the clock. You could see it looked like iOS 9 took that one. So 2-1 on the series so far. Let's go into camera. And it looks like iOS 9 might have took that one. So 3-1. Well, maybe, maybe I was wrong. You know, it's you're not always right. iOS 10 comes back swinging. So it is it's 3-2 now here for iOS 10. And if I get if I get off with the numbers, just point them out down below. And it looks like the iPhone 5S on the left with iOS 9 won the App Store battle. So it looks like it's 4-2 so far. Let's go into the books. That was totally not fair. That was weak action. Weak action over here. Let's go into the books one more time. And not now, but it looked like the one on the left was going to win that. I think we should try that one more time just because it was going into iCloud. Three, two, go. And yes, so the left did win this battle. So it's 5-2 for iOS 9. Let's go into news here. And looks like the iOS 10 won that one, so it's 5-3. Let's go into settings here. iOS 9 on the left, let's go home here. Let's go into Amazon here on both. Looks like it's 5-3, looks like 
wait, wait for it. Yes, iOS 9. So iOS 9 is actually being quicker. I don't know, it feels like when you got iOS 10, those animations are quicker, but right here it's showing that iOS 9 might be the faster operating system, about even there. So about 6.3 still for iOS 9.3.5. Let's go into Viber. You can see iOS 9.3.5 showing up iOS 10 here. So in the beginning, I thought that iOS 10 was going to win just because the animations do feel snappier. And if you're looking for some Black Friday deals, go check my video, Black, Best Black Friday Deals. We sorted through and found the best deals that may suit your fancy. But right there, it looks like YouTube did win on iOS 9.3.5. Let's go on the lift on both. And you could see... Boom, iOS 9.3.5 is showing me up. So I totally gave you some misinformation in the beginning, but I guess I should have told you that, you know, 9.3.5 is the faster operating system. Well, that's what it's showing here. So let's go into Twitter. Let's see what happens there on the tweets, on the twits. Okay, looks like 9.3.5 again. I think it's pretty safe to say that in this particular battle, iOS 9.3.5 has took the cupcake. So let's go into Fruit Ninja here. Let's see which one gets there first. Wow, iOS 9.3.5 is better optimized than iOS 10, but for some reason, it doesn't feel as fast in everyday use from my experience. Let's go into Stack here. Maybe it's just the way the animations appear visually. They probably create a illusion that it's quicker on iOS 10, but once again, well, that looked about even, but I'd still say slightly quicker to the iPhone 5S on iOS 9.3.5. Let's go into Temple Run here on both devices. Let's see what happens, temples. Okay, somebody just said, you know what? The iOS 9.3.5 is just taking the iOS 10.1.1 to school on this iPhone 5S comparison. So. It looks like in the app speed department, the iPhone 5S on iOS 9.3.5 is a bit quicker. What about the multitasking though? About the same there, not too much difference, but I don't know guys, I'm telling you in person and actual using both of these devices, um, 9.3.5 doesn't look as visually pleasing as iOS 10. That's just my personal opinion. Even though you've seen slightly quicker app opening speeds here on the left, I'm still gonna update it to 10.1. I really don't care that it's slightly uh, faster, but you know, it's just, it doesn't appear like that in person because the animations are more silky smooth on iOS 10. So I'd still say if you're looking to update, I'd still go ahead and do it. There's a lot of included features with iOS 10 that make it well worth losing maybe half of a second difference on the speed. But I was definitely wrong in saying that iOS 10 is quicker in the beginning of this video, but uh, not afraid to admit that. Let's go down to the end and let's go into weather. And you can see now about the same. So in terms of the multitasking, I give them a dead even tie. They both multitask pretty efficiently and very smoothly here for both sides on iOS 10.1.1 versus iOS 9.3.5. But let's see what happens when we get to iOS 10.2 for the iPhone 5S. Maybe that will help out a bit on the iPhone 5S. But let's get into the next test, which is we're gonna talk about the general UI. So let's see how they handle this whole pulling the notifications tray down. So iOS 10 comes out with the lead there. If you ask me, it looks a little bit smoother in terms of pulling down the tray, but maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe I'm a little bit blind today. You guys let me know down below what you guys are seeing, but you could see a little bit of hang there on the control center for iOS 10.1, which was revamped. You could see here, which one do you guys like better? Do you like the control center on iPhone 5S, iOS 9.3.5, or do you like it better on 10? Personally, I do like it on 10 better. It looks more clean, more modern. That's just my personal take on it. But what about the lock screen? Let's check out the lock screen. Let's see which one gets there first. So, ooh. Looks like the 5S on the left took that one. There was a little bit of a hang there on 10. It doesn't always do it, but we did see that it did do it. And it wasn't my physical misstep. That was actually a lag or a hang there on iOS 10. So this could be because I've had this one on the right longer than this one on the left. That might be the case. And uh, some, some haters and trolls might be like, 
oh, you gotta restore the iPhone 5S, but let's be real. I've been updating this thing every time it's been updated, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do a restore. What's being proven here in this particular video is iOS 10.1.1 is a little bit slower than 9.3.5, but it does have more features and it's more revamped and it's up to date. So do you guys wanna do the iOS 10 update? Um, I would say do it if you want more features. It's just more modern and clean. It feels like you're using the newer iPhone in an older package, something like the iPhone SE. Now let's do one more test before we wrap up this video. I wanna do a browser test on both of these devices. Let's go back and let me find the browser boys on here. Browser squad, holler at me. Let's go over here. Let's go into yahoo.com. Let's go to yahoo.com here on the iPhone 5S left. Yahoo.com here, iPhone 5S right, and let's go. And you can see, looks like the iPhone 5S iOS 10 took the lead. So maybe there is some better optimization going on here in the Siri department, or in the Siri, in the Safari department here on the latest iOS 10. So I do like to see that insanely fast browsing web speed here for the iPhone 5S iOS 10. Let's go. And it wanted me to open that one inside of the application. So let's do something else. Let's do, hmm, let's do Techno Buffalo, amazing technology website, very inspiring for what I've created here on this channel. John Rettinger, holla at you. Let's go here, go. Looks like it's appearing first on the left, but it looks like it's going a bit quicker on the right. So let's see what's happening. Nope, iOS 9.3.5 took it there. So I think this whole entire test has shown that the iPhone 5S, whether you're on 9.3.5 or iOS 10, it's only a slight difference. Maybe iOS 10 is slightly, slightly slower, but is it gonna change your use? Not really. Are you gonna get more features on iOS 10, such as widgets, such as the new control center, such as the all the inclusions of iOS 10 that just make it a much more efficient and clean operating system. Yeah, you're going to get that on iOS 10. And I'm not saying 9.3.5 is bad, but it just visually looks better in everyday use, in my opinion, on iOS 10. So that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. Let me give these guys a bath before we end it here. Little bath action. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and all that good shit. We do have more technology based content coming your way. And um, yeah. Have a great day wherever you are. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to be well. Oh yeah, by the way, battery test coming soon. And uh, peace.